Hi friends, fixed cycles of CNC turning play important role in CNC part programming. In today's video, we will discuss various fix or can cycle for CNC turning for Fanuc OT control. I am NM Chakradev. I have more than 25 years of experience in CNC part programming and CNC machine operation for turning and milling machines. Common turning operations include outside or inside diameter turning, then facing, then taper turning and profile turning, threading, and diameter and phase green. For all these operations, different CAN cycles are used. Now we will discuss the purpose of different CAN cycles. By use of fixed cycle or CAN cycle, length of program reduces considerably. Then program becomes easy to understand. Programming time also reduces. Chances of mistake are less. If uh, somebody other sees the program, he can also understand the program. And editing of program is also easy. So, in all CNC turning programs, different CAN cycles are used. By use of CAN cycle, programs becomes easy to understand and length of program is also reduced. Now, we will see different single pass cycles. First is outside diameter or inside diameter step turning. For this step turning operation, G90 single pass cycle is used. For facing operation, G94 fixed cycle is used. And for threading operation, G32 or G92 cycle is used. Single pass cycle means for each cut, we have to make the program. Now we will discuss various multiple pass cycle. These are important. First is profile turning. Profile turning is very common operation in CNC turning. For this, G71 cycle is used. Uh, then profile turning by facing. For this operation, G72 cycle is used. In G71 cycle, the profile turning is done by diameter turning. And in G72, profile turning is done by facing operation. So G71 is commonly used. Then third is pattern repeating. G73 is used for pattern repeating cycle. Sometimes job is in form of casting. Here we can use profile repeating or G73 cycle. Then for phase growing operation, we can use G74 cycle. For diameter turning, G75 cycle is used. And last is for threading operation, G76 cycle is used. This is important operation in CNC turning. In multiple pass cycles, we do, do not have to define each cut. So, use of multiple pass cycle is important in CNC turning. 
the length of program reduces considerably. Now we will discuss G90 step turning cycle. First we will discuss the various cycle parameters. G90 cycle is used for external or internal step turning. Here we have to define each cut. So we have to make program for each depth of cut. G90 cycle has three parameters. X is target diameter, target point in X axis. Z is target length. Since this is step turning operation, this Z length will be same for each cut and F is feed. So for each cut, we have to define these three parameters. Out of these three parameters, Z and F will be same for each cut. So for this drawing, we will make CNC program. In this drawing, material is to be reduced to 30 dia from 50 dia. So on diameter, 20 mm material is to be removed. For this, we will make CNC program. G90 cycle is box type cycle. First tool will come at a safety point. From here, it will take first depth of cut. Then tool will move in with feed and again go to the start point. Then tool will take next cut. So this movement is rapid and retract movement is also rapid. Other two movements are with free feed. So for each depth of cut, we have to define in the program. G90 is straight turning cycle. This cycle is used for turning of steps. Now we will make program for this drawing. Here operation is turning up one step from diameter 50 to diameter 30 for the length of 40 mm. So on dia we have to remove 20 mm material. This material we cannot cut in one pass. So we need to use thick cycle. G90 is straight turning cycle. In G90 some parameters are there. First we have to write the name of cycle G90. Then target X diameter, target length and feed. So we have to provide these parameters. So we will make CNC program for this drawing. We will make program for Hanuk OT control. First we have to write the program number. O three three five five. In Fano control, we can give maximum four digit number as program number. O is four for program number. Then N one. N one is first line of the program or first block of the program. G twenty eight. G twenty eight. U zero. Combined meaning of G28 usual means send the tool to the reference point for X axis. Then N2 G28 W0. Combined meaning of G28 W0 is send the tool to the reference point for Z axis. Then Now we need to define some technological parameters. Here we are using G96 
constant cutting speed mode so for that we have to define maximum spindle speed g50 is code for defining maximum spindle speed g50 s 2100 this is the maximum spindle speed in g96 mode as the diameter of job reduces the speed increases but the speed will not increase beyond 2100 and here we'll define m03 that is spin spindle rotation in clockwise di clockwise direction now we'll define g96 mode g96 is constant cutting speed mode and speed we are taking as 180 in g96 cutting speed is defined in meters per minute so next step is call the tool in turret different tools are mounted so we will call tool number 2 tool number 2 with offset number 2 and at the same time we will start the coolant motor M08 is code for starting the coolant motor T02 means two, uh, number, serial number 2 tool with offset number 2 Now we will position the tool at the safety point away from the job. So G0 is rapid positioning. Z first, first in Z direction, Z5 away from the job place. Then now we will position the tool to the safety point in X axis. So X50. So away from job diameter. Now we will call the cycle. In G90, some parameters are there. So first is we have to write G90, then target X diameter. So first we will take cut of 4 mm on dia. So X46. Then Z minus 40 and F 0.15. So this is one block of G90 cycle. Tool will come to the star uh, safety point. From here it will take first cut. It will cut this tape. Again it will go to target one in X axis and to the start point. Here it will go rapid and here from here to here it will go by in feed. feed. So uh, by in this after execution of this block my machine will cut one step of 46 dia. Now not necessary to define all these parameters g90 is active and other parameters are active only we have to define the next diameter so x42 so next cut it will take next cut then n10 x38 next cut of 4m on dia then n11 x 34 and 12 x 30 if required you can take x 32 then x 30 it is not necessary to take in step of 4 mm only you can take desk cut at the end now our program will be complete because step of 30 mm dia will be cut and our program will complete and tool again will go to the, this start point. From here, we will send tool to the reference point. G28 X0. 
first reference point for x axis and coolant motor stop now n14 g28 w0 next tool offset deactive and last block is program stop with rewinding on m30 so this is the program for g90 state turning cycle sometimes while making cnc program we make small mistakes in the program for cycle 90 also i have made one small mistake you can see in block number 13 after g28 i have written x0 actually it should be u0 g28 and u0 combined meaning of this is send the tool to the reference point reference point is point where dexing can be done safely so we should avoid such small mistakes while making cnc program it is always better to see the correctness of program on graphic simulation if we put wrong value then either program will not execute or program will be executed in the wrong way so for safety it is always better to see the correctness of program by graphic simulation and this is the corrected program see in block number 13 x0 is replaced by u0 now this is the correct program thank you very much for watching this video wait for next uploads you can like or subscribe this video thank you very much